I think there's a cable car around here somewhere. Let's check it out. We're on this cable car and it just suddenly stopped. <sighs> I guess we'll have to do the live stream from here in the cable car. Today we're going to be learning about the form Toro. The first way we're going to talk about is how Toro means so that. When I say so that, what I mean is I studied a lot of Korean so that I could be a Korean teacher. You can also think of this as translating as in order to. This word Toro actually has the same literal meaning as K. I don't mean like K like a crab, K. <laughs> I mean K as in K hada. For example, hage hada. Hage mandirda. K also means so that. When you are saying, chersuga chongso hage hesoyo. I made chersu do the cleaning. You're saying, so that Charsu does cleaning, mandrosoyo. I made it. Literally, I made it so that Charsu did the cleaning. Torok has the same literal meaning when it's used in that manner. The difference is that Torok is slightly more formal. It actually conjugates very simply. All you do is you take a verb stem and you attach Torok. And then you finish the rest of the sentence. So you get so that verb stem. It's not interchangeable with K though. Just in this usage it is. So let's do our first example sentence. 감기에 걸리다 means to get a cold. 감기에 걸리지 않도록. So 만지지 마세요 means do not touch. 입과 코, mouth and nose. Don't touch your mouth and nose. So that you do not get a cold. 감기에 걸리지 않도록. 입과 코를 만지지 마세요. 감기에 걸리지 않도록 과 코를 만지지 마세요. Don't touch your mouth and your nose so that you don't get a cold. 한국어를 공부할 수 있도록 So that I can study Korean. 한국어를 공부할 수 있도록 So that I can study Korean. 한국어 책, Korean language book 샀어요. I bought a Korean book so that I can study Korean. 내년에 한국 여행을 충분히 즐길 수 있도록 so that I can enjoy, sufficiently enjoy enough, fully enjoy a Korea trip next year. 지금부터 돈을 모으기 시작하세요. Start saving up your money from now so that you can enjoy fully your Korea trip next year. 모두가 다 들을 수 있도록 so that everyone can hear. 크게 말해주세요. Please speak loudly so that everyone can hear you. 모두가 다 들을 수 있도록 크게 말해주세요. So that was our first meaning, which translated as so that. To the extent that. Like so much that. What extent? You know, what amount? You'll also see this translated, although this is not a literal translation, as until. As in, like I listened to that song to the extent that I hated it. I listened to that song until I hated it. That's the way that this can sometimes translate as until. So this is our second meaning of torok. 질리다 means to get bored of something. 질리 도록. To the extent that you get bored. Or even so much that. 그 노래를 질리 도록. So much that I got sick of the song. 들었어요. I listened to that song. To the extent that I got sick of it. So much that. I got sick of it. 그 노래를 질리 도록 들었어요. I listened to that song so much that I got tired of it. Bajida means to come out. Pop! Your eyes come out. Nuni baji toro. Well, in Korean, they say that your eyes come out when you're waiting for something for a long time. Nuni baji toro. So much that your eyes came out of your sockets. Hidarida. To wait so much that your eyes come out. For our sentence, Nuni baji toro kidariosoyo. I waited so much that my eyes came out. I waited forever. Next example. Let's try to put BTS in here. Chup dorok. So much that I die. This is a exaggeration. Hyperbole for saying so much that you could die. Until I die. Chup dorok sarang hada is how you say to love something to death. You know, to death means that until you die. BTS를 chup dorok sarangheyo. I love BTS to death. 
Some of you probably will want to use this sentence. To the extent that two years has passed, 집주인을 2년이 지나도록 못 봤어요. So I could not see the homeowner so much that, or to the extent that two years has passed. So I haven't even seen them and it's been two years. 집주인을 2년이 지나도록 못 봤어요. You can use 도록 in the same way as you can use 개. So I want to give you an example of that. 이해하기 쉽게 설명해 드릴게요. 제가 I 이해하기 쉽다. Easy to understand. Remember I said K means so that. I will explain it to you so that it is easy to understand. But like I said, 도록 has the exact same meaning as K, literally. 제가 이해하기 쉽도록 설명해 드릴게요. I will explain it to you so that it is easy to understand. 제가 이해하기 쉽도록 설명해 드릴게요. 도록 would be slightly more formal sounding than K, but they have the same meaning. So now we're going to talk about the next form for today. 도록하다. You take a verb stem and attach 도록, but then you follow it with the verb 하다. You can say 도록하다 in the same way that you can say 개하다, as in to make and to let. As we gave the example before, you can say 청소하게 했어요. I made someone do cleaning. Or 청소하도록 했어요. I did it or I made it so that something happened. Both of these can be used to mean make and let in that way. However, this has one additional meaning. 도로카다 can also be used as a formal form and it's used to say something like I will take care of it. I'll make sure to or you make sure to. If you say 하도록 하겠습니다. Literally what you were saying is I will do something so that I do something. So it's a formal way of saying I'm going to take care of this now. I'm going to do something. I'm going to make sure to do something. Just a way to announce that you're going to do something. Or if you tell someone, make sure to do something. Since this is the same as 개하다, you could say something like this. 제가 할수 있게 해주세요. Please let me be able to do it. Please let me do it. Or 제가 할수 있도록 해주세요. It's the exact same meaning. Please let me do it. However, if you use it like this, it's slightly more formal. Let's do a sentence with this 도로카다 form. This will be like the default phrase that people will say before starting a meeting. 시작하도록 하겠습니다. All right, we'll get started. I will make it so that I start. I will make it so that I will start right now. But you can translate this more as like, I'm going to start right now. I'm going to start, everyone. Or I'll make sure, I'm going to make sure to start. 시작하도록 하겠습니다. All right then, well, let's get started. You know, kind of like that, like that type of announcement. I will make sure to work harder from today, or just announcing, I'm going to work harder from today. 오늘부터 더 열심히 일하도록 할게요. I'm going to work harder from today. 오늘부터 더 열심히 일하도록 할게요. I will work harder from today. 내일 시험에 on tomorrow's test 좋은 점수를 받을 수 있도록 so that I can get a good score on tomorrow's test. This is the first usage of 도록. 외우도록 하세요. Make sure to memorize. Well, 잘. Make sure to do a good job of memorizing your vocabulary so that you can get a good score on tomorrow's test. 내일 시험에 좋은 점수를 받을 수 있도록 단어를 잘 외우도록 하세요. Now we've got two uses of 도로, 받을 수 있도록, in order to get, 외우도록 하다, make sure to. You got two 도로ks in the same sentence. 이 생선은, this fish, 맛있고, tastes good, and 몸에도 좋으니까, because it is also good for your body, 많이 먹도록 해요, make sure to eat a lot. Because this fish tastes good and is also good for you, eat a lot. 이 생선은 맛있고, 몸에도 좋으니까, 많이 먹도록 해요. 도록 and 위해. Both of these can mean in order to. 도록 has more of the, a meaning of making sure to do something. You wouldn't say 하기 위해 하겠습니다 anyway. 하기 위해 is more literal sounding. So if you were to say 할수 있도록, you're kind of saying so that I can, to make sure that I can. 한국어를 배우기 위해 is more direct, literal translation of in order for me to learn Korean. Whereas 배울 수 있도록 that's like, so that I can learn Korean. Wehe has a much more literal feeling to it. The advantage of wehe is that you can use it anywhere. Torok, however, you can't just throw it everywhere, right? It has to be used to mean so that. Also, there is a slight difference. Sometimes you cannot use one or the other. I'm letting you know this sentence is wrong. 한국어를 배우도록. So that you learn Korean. 무슨 책들을 써요? What books do you use so that you learn Korean? 
It sounds awkward in Korean as well as in English. So that you learn Korean, what books do you use? You could change the sentence to use torok if you wanted to, but you wouldn't be able to use it in this curtain form. So for this one though, it'll help to think about the translation more than just look at the Korean to understand why this sentence sounds awkward. What you want to say instead, peugi wihe, literally, in order to learn Korean, what books do you use? 한국어를 배우기 위해 무슨 책들을 써요? What books do you use in order to learn Korean? You can ask this question a few other different ways. I'm just comparing with 도록 and 위해. 한국어를 배우도록 So that you learn Korean. It's more like so that is like so much that. So much that you learn Korean, what books do you use? Like it doesn't quite make sense in Korean. 한국어 선생님이 될수 있도록 대학원을 다니기 시작했어요. So that I can become a Korean teacher, I started attending graduate school. Or, I started attending graduate school so that I can become a Korean teacher. You can also say, 되기 위해 한국어 선생님이 되기 위해서 대학원을 다니기 시작했어요. And that's totally fine. Exact same meaning. 대학원을 다니기 시작했어요. I started attending graduate school in order to become a Korean teacher. Perfectly fine too. If both of them can be used, we hey will also be slightly more formal sounding because it's literal. Literal sounding words tend to have more of a bookish feel, a more, a little bit more of a formal feeling to them. However, more common than we hey is just the regular uh form. Intending. And I have a full live stream about that, so I'm not going to go into this today. We hey is fine, but we hey is totally literal. So because of that, more people will just use ryogo. Now, you might have seen torok. Torok is actually the same thing as torok. However, when you attach torok to a noun, it becomes torok. I'll give you a pro tip. Do not stick torok onto nouns by yourself. Torok is only used on specific nouns that already are commonly used with torok. But I will tell you a few of the most common examples. Young one, torok. Until, young one. Forever, eternal. You're literally saying to the extent of eternity until forever. I'll love you forever. You'll also see it as e, as in this e torok or ku torok. These are the exact same meaning as just saying iroke kaji and kuroke kaji. This means this much, even this much, iroke kaji, even this much. Kaji meaning even and even that much. This much, like this, this much, or that much. That's all for torok. Lesson's over. We're still stuck here. I hope this um, cable car will start moving though. Whoa, the motor's going again, guys. Hold on, let me, let me sit down. All right, guys, we're moving. Wait, we're going up. It's the wrong way. No!